you know, you're the Catholic guy, you're on the Catholic channel on Sirius XM Radio, and you're a comedian, the three C's. Uh, and I'm just wondering, is there something funny about Catholicism? Like, what, what is behind your approach to infuse talking about the Catholic Church, talking about the faith with comedy? All the world's greatest religions have great comedy in them. Judaism, uh, Catholicism, Islam, sometimes is funny, sometimes <laughs> not as funny, right? But you think of some of the greatest comedians of all time, they're Jewish. Part of their faith is a part of their comedy. Us Catholics have been lagging behind our Jewish brothers and sisters when it comes to these things, right? Catholicism is inherently, inherently funny. But give us an example. Like, what's something when you like think about the faith? You think about how you practice it on a daily basis. You think about the people who call into your radio program. Like, what is so funny about it? Okay, we got guys wearing dresses right there. Comedy <laughs> gold. Com I mean, and nobody. <laughs> if, you're, if you're higher up than the hierarchy, right? You're wearing purple. And, and, and big hats. I mean, w w it's just funny. You're a little kid. You look over. You go. What's going on around here? That, that is funny. You want to make a joke. Some of the things that I love about the faith are funny. I go to confession. The fact that I stand in line with a bunch of little old ladies who didn't commit sins, and I walk in a darkened booth and change my voice and tell a priest a bunch of my sins, what's not to love about this faith? It's hilarious. So what, like, there's a lot of people who don't, who think that there's no room for any kind of, like, laughter or comedy or whatever in faith because it's so serious and it means so much and it's so important and you have to be so solemn and so I mean what, what do you say to people like that you're wrong <laughs> you're wrong you tell them a joke no I, I, I run away from them they depress <laughs> me too much it's why Pope Francis said uh, the word sourpuss which by the way you know first Pope ever to use the word sourpuss right you don't if you walk around with this big sourpuss on your face you don't really have joy you don't have a real gratitude of life, of everything. Being serious about faith doesn't mean being serious in life. It's really that simple. The things you love the most, you should be passionate about and excited about. You ever eaten a plate of pasta and been like, thanks be to God. <laughs> this is the best pasta I've ever had. Glory to you, Lord. I mean, this is not the way we act in real life. If you want to be serious about faith, you want to love your faith, you should some, have some sort of outward expression that you're not miserable. Is there anybody in the church that you particularly like to laugh at? You. Like, you, Sebastian. <laughs> you, I am the one. You wouldn't believe the jokes we tell behind your back. Whenever I go to the Vatican, the Pope always pulls me aside. He's like, How about that one? You get a load of this one over here? I'm like, oh, he's a riot. Uh, what was the question? Apart from me, who do you like? It, it, someone in the church, people in the church, is there someone that you love to just pick on who you just say, this person, like, this is a character, this is someone we gotta... Well, you know, you know who you gotta love in the church? The lectors who didn't practice. You, you gotta love the lectors who don't know any of the words, they're fumbling over everything, they don't know how to pronounce anything. You gotta love that. Right. You gotta love the cantor who thinks they're on Broadway and this is their big chance and... <laughs> You, you gotta love that because it's like it's a show to him's hello and you're like, okay that's a good show as well you, you, but you know more than anybody who I I love to pick on and I feel horrible about it uh, the people I love to pick on the most are the nice old people at church right the saints <laughs> I don't mean old like two thousand years ago people I, I mean like the the little old lady or the little old guy. Because, you know, if you're sitting in the pew, they're sitting in my pew. That's funny to me. I'm like, man, this isn't your pew. I, 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 I just think I came to worship as well. I love picking on it, but they're the ones who have the best faith. They're the ones who've stuck it out. They're the ones who raised the kids and now don't go to church. But right. there they are. And, you know, the thing is, you can pick on people in a mean way, in a negative way, in a demeaning way, to boost yourself up and put somebody down, which is what I do. Or... You can pick on people in a loving way, in, in a way that an older brother picks on a, lo a little brother or a little sister, you know what I mean? And that family, and then there are certain jokes that only an Italian can tell about Italians, right? right? I think there are certain jokes only Catholics can tell about ourselves, and if an outsider does it, you go, wait, 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 